Hey there, it's Boots Owen here. This is my Aladdin 23 paraffin oil lamp. It's got a reservoir that holds paraffin oil or basically clean diesel. Uh, a little gallery here with the wick in it and the wick comes up through here. Let's have a look inside. So this crusty looking circular thing in here is the wick and if I wind it up a bit you can see it moving up there just about. That's the flame spreader. I'm not worried about any of that today, that's all working fine. The wick sucks up oil from the reservoir and it lights and burns. What I'm interested in is this gallery with the glass chimney and the mantle, and it's the mantle really that I want to get into. So here's the gallery and this is the mantle that's in it. And I used one of these, I don't know if that a brand name on there. I think that's a Coleman name actually on that one. So that's a Coleman gas mantle. They're meant to hang down inside a petrol lamp and be tied with that little bit of string and so they hang like a little like a little something like that this one's different this is an aladdin mantle and it's meant to sit up or stand up they're quite a funny little thing so here it is that's what it should look like and today what i'm going to do is i'm not going to put this one in because these cost about 20 quid or some price like that whereas these ones you can buy very cheaply on the internet you know you can get 20 of them for a fiver or something like that so I'll put that safely out of the way I'm going to talk through the one that's in it already so this is basically an experiment today uh, the previous experiment didn't work so what I did was I took one of these little mantles and stretched it down over the frame and it lit and then fell asunder and the reason I think it fell asunder is because these things they're not very strong uh, in fact they're they're a cloth but they're impregnated with some kind of minerals and apparently it, the minerals used to be radioactive whether they still are or not i don't know the cloth burns away and then it leaves this lattice like this this white lattice here which incandesces whenever it gets hot so what i'm going to try and do today is make a little thing out of wire that hangs from those little metal hooks and suspends. I think this mantle is the one I'll use because it's got a bit it's a bit grubby and I don't really care if it gets a lot gets broken. I'll try and hang this somehow from I think it's already been tied there. I'll need to untie that. Hang this uh, above. Stretch it out a bit maybe. See they're strong enough when they're unburnt but the first time you use them they they go on fire and the cloth burns off. Quite dramatically sometimes and uh, you're left with this lattice work so I'll do a bit of magic and come back to this so this is the metal frame that's inside that Aladdin mantle it just snaps on and just very gently just snaps on sits in place so what I want to do is try and get this to hook over the outer edge here and hang just up from some little piece of wire internally. And to do that I think I need to cut this drawstring here because that's obviously in the way. I've got a piece of copper wire here. I'm only using copper because I have it to hand and it is flexible so it's easy to bend and tie. wires inside get that out just peel it like a I don't know what you'd call that peel it and to make a little little circle two hooks I think is what I'm gonna do My idea is that this will hook through here. And 
that little hang from that. That will we'll see if it remains to be seen if this will work. So the mistake I made previously was that the cloth likes to be really loose. It doesn't it wants to be baggy and loose. It doesn't like to be in tension when it burns because it, if it burns in tension then it just uh, basically falls asunder. Let's put that like that. Let's open this out. Just gonna try and tuck this on all around, stretch it down onto the bottom. But I don't really want to stretch it too hard, so I just want it to kind of hang around this rim down the bottom. This is uh, it's not really working because the thing's so creased. You never know. It's a bit of a twist in it, I think. Let's try and get that out. Not too displeased with that, actually. I think it's got a big stain on it. I think that's about as good as it's going to get. So let's try and get it back in here into the glass. Lock that in position. Let's try to try to light it. Should have done it outside. It is burning off, filling the room with radioactive smoke. I would recommend doing that outside in the future. I've turned the wick right up. That's made my glass go all sooty, which isn't great. And it's not meant to be like that. It's meant to be... Let's try turning it right down again. So you can see the... F I don't know if you... Yeah, you can see the red lines there turning across. So the way it's incandescing over here is how it's meant to be, but it's not quite right. It's something's not going quite right on it. I turn up the heat again, but you see you get a smoky flame if you go up too high. Let's try and 
trying to write down. The issue I have now is that there's a big gap between the blue flame and the mantle. See, so it doesn't it doesn't multiply light. What it does is it heats up and down too far it goes out. And then if I turn it up a bit, it's starting to incandesce over here. But then it just gets red. It's not burning up through it correctly. And I wonder if that's something to do with the shape. And the inside of my chimney here is filthy. You can't see that with the contrast on the camera, but maybe these lamp uh, mantles aren't right. I wonder, actually, see this black spot over here? That coincides exactly with where the stain was, and it looks like there's just a little lattice of ash there rather than of white minerals, and I don't know if that's preventing it lighting up somehow that this one might just have been washed out so it could just be a dud mantle i suspect that's highly likely so i think i'm going to put this one out for now and i need to clean that chimney it's full of residue so to turn it out i'm just going to turn the wick down a bit and just blow across the top and you can see the big smoke streaks in there i'll have to give that a wash once it cools down it runs on kerosene. I'm going to put a bit in here today. I think there's an okay wick in it, but I was doing some experiments before on using a gas mantle instead of the correct uh, Aladdin type mantle. I tied it in very carefully and lit it up and it worked a little bit, but it didn't glow the way a mantle is meant to glow. I'm going to see about fitting this locks on Aladdin locks on mantle. This horrible stuff is paraffin or kerosene. Well, I think lamp oil would be better, but either way, they're all, they all seem to cost a fortune now in a world where nobody uses this technology. If I twist off the glass on this one, it'll lift off. And then this is the gas mantle hooked on over. Uh, It's a gas mantle hooked on over an old Aladdin mantle clip. So here's, this is quite an old one coming in at 99 pence and I paid significantly more than that for it. New old stock, some instructions there. You can still get these. So, you don't want the mantle to touch anything. There it is. Before I fit it, I'm gonna see if the wick is coming up and trimmed. So I think those mantles are like 15 quid nowadays, but I'm kind of making up numbers there. Yeah, that wick's rising and falling okay, and looks like I trimmed it previously. So let's just light it and see if it'll take. Seems to be lighting okay there, that looks okay to me. So then I'll extinguish that for the moment. Well, there's no reason why actually, I could just keep it lighting. Down here where I've spilled all my kerosene, let's put that. Let's clip this on very carefully. It's got, it's impregnated with some kind of, that's it, you just put it on and twist it, it seems. Should I try it the other way? What does it say? Read the instructions, Owen. Never touch fabric. Fit mantle to burner gallery and lock by turning clockwise. Well, that's clockwise. Oh, I think I touched it. Oh, it does turn a bit further and lock, perfect. Okay, and then fit this over it. Careful not to touch the thing. This is a bit dirty from my previous experiments, but no amount of cleaning would clean it. You can see a bit of the brown sheen on it there. We'll see what happens now. Uh, let's put this mantle back in the box just because I'll keep that box and the cage in case I come up with some other experiment later on. Put that aside. Mm. 
and bring it down as low as it'll go and hopefully it won't go out. And there, did you catch that? I hope you did. That was the blue burning off. Now let's turn up the flame. The blue has burnt off, that was the protective film. And if you can see in the center there, we're getting a bright blue flame. And the mantle is beginning to glow red. I'll turn up that flame a little bit more. And there's the mantle beginning to glow a bit better. And we've got a perfect blue flame in the center because the wick is clean. You don't want any yellow. If I turn up a wee bit more, it begins to incandesce. That's kind of amazing. I can see the mesh, the camera can't pick it up. But that's it, it's lit, it's going. There isn't much more to it. That is a hundred times better than the gas mantle that I had on it. That little bit of smoke, I thought it was going to be more. I seem to remember it being more startling the last time I did this, but that could be 20 years ago. It's going okay now. Let's just see if I crank it up a wee bit more. Oh, you see it's flame. the flame's coming through there and that's not good. So you want to turn it back down again. <laughs> the flame was kind of licking through. In fact, I wonder if we put, if we put one of these... So here is it viewed through a sunglass and you can see what I can see now. What you can also see down here on the bottom right, it's kind of broken the mantle a bit. So that might have been just from my finger very, very gently touching it or, or not, I don't know. You can see it's just broken right there in the, at the bottom of the mantle, it's a little bit broken. Try one more trick on it. So this is if you threw a wind welding mask. Doesn't tell you much more, does it? And that's it not viewed through a welding mask, that's it viewed normally. So they're quite a pleasant thing. Um, to extinguish them, just turn it down. And blow across the top, briskly or smartly. So yeah, it's fairly plain where it's broken there. Now, I don't know if that was just for me touching it. It could quite easily be. And now because that's happened, it's also quite brittle. It's quite brittle anyway, but you can't, take these off and put them back on. Once they're set, you don't want to touch any of it. The breeze will blow it away. So it's protected in the glass, but that's about it. I'm going to bring it in tonight and try it out in the kitchen, I think. I'm fed up of the electric light doing my head in the middle of winter. So this is a bit of a, a bit of a toy to play with. Questions or comments, leave them below. Thanks for watching. See you later.